By the power of my legs, I'm going to run! Good morning, everybody, or good night, or good afternoon, or good... Whatever. Hello. Hi. How are you today? My name is Jack, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective Episode 12. We are going to solve all this. This story is getting more and more intense and detailed, and uh, it, we learn, just learned that Camilla is the daughter of our beloved Detective Jord, who was sentenced to death, and we saved him in Chapter 9, 8 and 9, actually. And, plus, that she actually built the contraption we saw Lynn being killed at with that murder machine. She actually built this the first time. My guess is, the second, the murder machine we, we uh, met before, that killed Lynn, and we had to save her, actually was a machine that was, it was supposed to be a reproduction, a reproduction of at the home, it's kind of like an investigation, see if that machine would kill someone um, by that scientist. Scientist, I I don't see any other, I don't see it in any, in any other way. Plus, last time uh, we are we were actually stuck in a book, waiting for a pathway out of uh, that home that was the home of Camilla and Detective Jode. Um, a few years, uh, five years ago. So we'll see now, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's already midnight and a half, 12.25 a.m. We'll see. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jode's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. Yeah, so basically we can tell both of them that they don't have her daughter, his, his, her, his daughter, duh. And um, that, uh, well, we have to explain all that. When, we, when I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the, fear, uh, the fiery detective lady. No! Leave him alone! Oh gosh, she is really, really in a bad mood. I told Lynn what I had found out about the kidnapping, that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house, old house sorry, and that they sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla, why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister? I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. Uh, it looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl kidnapped for the reason of her own father's execution. It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And uh, then... There are those other twists too. Like the kidnappers winding up in, and, and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. Uh, but there's no way it could be just coincidence, right? I guess them sensing my presence... Uh, they seem to know about the powers of the dead somehow. I just don't understand any of it. Yeah, me neither. I told you before, detective, I want you to stand back. But I want it! Who cares about this since at a time like this? I'm just a big kid. Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that ha that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what, I, what we were saying. How can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please! If you don't believe what we must, uh, if you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't. It's complicated. Oh, why does my, <laughs> why does life have to be such a complicated thing? 
Oh, but uh, if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything is normal? It doesn't prove it! Oh! I'm being watched! I can't have the police go check for me! Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed! What difference does it make? That does. That's not my daughter. That is not. It's not my daughter, of course. Blah, blah, blah. I was reading so well. Woo hee! That's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Hello. <laughs> Miss me, baby. Inspector Cabanella. Sweet moves, mister. Sweet moves. I have a little report for you, mister. Kaching? Wow, what a bow! The escape, uh, the escape prisoner has been apprehended. Now, I thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Not half bad. Not half bad. At least we can... Oh, hello. Detective Jode! D Detective Jode, I'm so sorry, I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Well, if you're so sorry, Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. Check time! Let's see the conversation. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? That the execution was tonight. I don't believe uh, I had any obligation to tell you. Uh, and if you're fine with- uh, and you're fine with this. I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jode could never have done such a thing. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Yeah, I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be the true. And two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why did you just take him back? Didn't you just take him back to the prison? Prison? What? Uh, I think you only brought him here to brag about your accomplishments. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. <laughs> selfish. So, were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Yeah, Everybody has a certain, uh, certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lin. But Detective Jode, I am a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... Ah, uh, please. Okay, let's... Can we talk to you? Oh, my poor Emily. Is she alright? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, Emily? Could that be the Emily next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me. My wife. It's um complicated. Uh, yeah, I bet it would be pretty harm uh, hard to admit she left him. The minister's wife uh, ran away on him. Maybe they grew apart. What? What with him being so busy? Yeah, I bet you're right. 
please stop gossiping about me inside my own head! Jesus. Poor guy. Hansel, I don't want to talk to you anymore, you're ugly. Yes. I can talk to Joad. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened, something about the kidnapping. Some kidnappers are saying uh, they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. It's... that's terrible. Uh, what's their demand? The carrying out of your execution tonight. <laughs> I had no idea. I was so aided. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the mer the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be! And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her! I'm the one who shot Alma! And when I'm executed tonight, I will... It will that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, uh, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her a new suffering. The only person's pain this ex execution is going to ease is yours. Is, is it true what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? Murder five years ago. It's an accident. It was a party surprise. Come on. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's, birthday. We came home from work and she went first. Bang. Mom, mom! What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. So, the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's horrible! Yeah, kind of horrible to be honest. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to... Well, made an impossible move. An impossible move? It's been it's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I've I'd, uh, I'd convinced everyone of, even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. These blue people. Is somebody there? I can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. Yeah, remember that. The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. In uh, This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case uh, isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Joe. There's still time before dawn. Eh, uh, a little away. But about you... Uh, how about you see this case through to the end before you die? An impossible move. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. 
She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. Okay, cool. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of the gun. Right, that was the antique gun that I, I had on display for years. So wasn't uh, so it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday, not a killing machine. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? That's right, I mean, what? Then it turns around, like... It was supposed to, sh to shoot its arrow without turning around. As simple as that. Somebody uh, made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. Adjustments to the scene. What kind of adjustments? The gun, of course. The gun, hey? Come to think of it. I think it wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't in the room, yeah. There was no gun there. No gun there. Just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But one thing's for certain. That gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it. I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What do you mean? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. No! That box is everywhere! I'm gonna burn it when I find it. So that's. that was in the box, huh? I got a different, uh, I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police, my own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good, uh, I won't go into details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. Okay, interesting. Detective Jode, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jode. And of course, the little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true per perpetrator is still out there. And I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake. We're going to... Lock a ghost in his cell. That sounds wonderful! Thank you, Detective Jode. Lynn, where's that music box now? In uh, Temsic Park, Camilla left it there. Hmm, that gun is important evidence. Evidence. Um, you'd better go pick it up. And he's there standing and not saying a thing. Yes, sir, I'll go right now. By the power of my legs, I'm going to run! Sissel, take care of Detective Joe, by, by the way. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister out on our side. And yet again, I say easy enough for you to say. Uh, wait for- ah. What's going on? <laughs> Tell me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. A little change of plan in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped, and I can't just go off to die without doing something. Uh, but you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you. 
way with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my friend. My old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend. In more ways than one. That's what we're going to do. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have uh, your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume, uh, resume the enforcement. What a bow! As you wish, your excellency. Please don't blow down on... Don't bow down to me. Sorry. Um, and especially not that low. Yeah. What a bow. Uh, in that case... Can I have one of your boys arrange that prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir! Oh, wow. The van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Uh, will you show me another miracle of these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Ruin Mate? Maybe. We're going to help him. What can we do with the spears? So any plans, you guy? Can you? Most likely the minister won't stop the execution, and not as long as there there is any small chance of. Uh, his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one! I'm sure of it! Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? I doubt his wife he is ever gonna answer that phone if we call from there, from here. If we call from here, right, but a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? I'm saying, what I'm saying is, family members can solve a, fam a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost. Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others, but w you're the only one who can change this situation. Gee, detective. For these past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. But there, uh, but is there a way? Yes, there is actually a way. I'm guessing so. Oh, it's all, all the way. No, where are you going? Come back! Sissel! I didn't want to, to touch that. Yeah, I... What's he doing here? Hey, look, that detective's back. Camilla! Without knowing the situation, this scene would look pretty suspicious. That was a mistake. I didn't want to go here, but I guess we saw that the guy knows, so maybe... That's... That's the house. So we meet again. We meet again. Just as I thought. This little girl is safe in her bed. Cough, cough. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long chain of a sad fate lit a fire in Joe's heart. 
and the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight has has related back to me in some way. <coughs> Sorry. And I bet this mistaken written abduction does too. So, yep, basically, a lot's going on. Wow, incredible. A little bit of story there, uh, not much puzzle these two past episodes, there wasn't really that much going on, except for saving the minister, I guess, but we'll have plenty of that, saving people and going back in time, I'm sure of it. So, don't miss the next episode, as chapter 13 is coming, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Now, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.